Alright, yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Mass here, um, okay, so this is gonna be a little quick review, I'm gonna try and make this video a bit short, so, um, so, NCSoft has actually, um, released this quite a while ago, but I'm just, um, reviewing over what they're releasing for their new content and shit, you know, but, um, anyway, so, they are releasing the new content, um, Vengeance Breaks, with Jin So Young, so basically they're gonna add like pets and shit. So they're gonna add pets, um, a new system called Tower Infinity, and um, they're increasing the Hong Moon level um, cap, which is gonna be 15, I believe, or something like that. Also, um, they're gonna extend the story content as well, the Act Four for Silver Frost Mountains, which I think is pretty good. So yeah, they're gonna add more content. And that's gonna be on June the 1st, so yeah, I look forward to all of that. I mean, the pets as well. Pets, people are really looking forward to that stuff, so you know, before I thought, um, at first, before I played Blade so I thought they had pets already, but when I first started, they didn't. So, you know, I was kind of surprised, you know, but yeah, I mean, you know, I'm very excited. So, just to talk over about what I've been doing on this game, so I actually have been trying it out. Okay, I was actually sure if I was going to play it fully, but I actually really enjoy this game. Okay, it is really nice. I should have played it long, long ago. Okay, I don't even know why I gave Cabal 2 too many chances. You know, I thought maybe it can change. I thought maybe that game could just... It can maybe just last a bit longer until they do something really great with it. But no, that's, that's just not the case. You know, they're not they're not progressing okay yeah sure they release new content and stuff but you know what's the point of releasing new content if the game's quality sucks you know like honestly what's the point you know there's no point in me staying there so yeah I'm gonna be playing Blade and Soul for a while cuz I actually enjoy this game a lot more than Black Desert so you know I actually was gonna play Black Desert but you know, I realize in the time space I have and the stuff I do, you know, it's not a game where I'm going to be playing a lot, you know, there's too much things to do in Black Desert, I'm telling you. There is so much to do and plus the map is just massive. It's like, it's, it's like you're just traveling around the world and shit, you know, it's, but, I mean, it's a good game, it's a very good game, Black Desert's really nice. And also there's um, news about Bless coming to NA and EU to go global so there's also that I might try that game out as well and Riders of Icarus very good game I might give that a try as well later on but yeah um, for now I'm gonna be playing Blade and Soul um, I've actually tried the PvP PvP is I mean in terms of gameplay it's very good okay I give that a 10 out of 10 that's really great PvP but the balance the balance I'll give it a 5 okay because you know, I mean, like class like assassin and shit. You know, oh my god, it's, it's just, it's just ridiculous. But, but anyway, yeah. So um, I'm gonna be doing um, some PvP videos maybe later on. I don't know. You know, it depends how long I am very determined to actually play this game. But you know, we'll see. Um, for Blade Master, I've actually been watching some combo videos and shit. You know, it's basically like playing c9 all over again okay that's the honest truth this game is literally like playing continent of the ninth from scratch well that's how it is for me okay but yeah you know what i mean you start the game the pvp system is pretty much like c9 like honest truth right there it is basically like c9 you know the combo system you know all that shit you know but the only thing that's different is the mana you know, you gotta know how to use your chi wisely. That's one thing I've noticed. You know, once you run out of chi, that's a problem. You gotta have like some recovery skills to build it back up and get yourself back on track. And there's a lot of stuns. A lot of stuns, freeze, you know, all that shit, you know, root. Freaking warlock and summoning class, pet summonings and shit, you know, you got all that to worry about. Um, grabs, the grabs are just, it's just nuts, especially destroyer, my god. But anyway, yeah, so, I'm gonna try and get, um, pretty good at this game, okay, I'm gonna give it my best, but we'll see what happens, alright? 
I'm gonna try but um, anyway so there's that which I wanted to talk about and um, yeah um, so tell me what you guys think about the new content um, about the pets Tower of Infinity all that shit you know and um, for my character in this video I'm actually level 39 well 38 but the current state I'm at now is actually level 50 I'm level 50 right now so yeah um, I'll show you um, my progress later on in the next video I'll do that afterwards but for now I'm just showing you like a little review about um, the game and itself and shit like that but yeah I mean what you're seeing now is just you know the song dead on the floor <laughs> you know honestly I enjoyed fighting this guy this guy is a real douchebag okay this this guy just really pissed me off the song was the number one person that just had to go okay he just he just had to go I mean at, from the start from day one he betrayed the freaking Hong Moon school you know and yeah I hate that guy but Okay, that brings me to another topic I want to talk about. Okay, this game's storyline is very good. Okay, I give that a 9 out of 10. This game is just great. Alright, it has a very good storyline. You know, I really enjoy it. Okay, so... I don't know why I, play, I didn't play this game earlier, you know. I should have played this game a lot sooner, but... Cabal 2 just had me going, you know. It just... <laughs> yeah, if you guys watched my previous video, you will know. You know, if you watched all those Cabal 2 videos, you will know okay, that Cabal 2 is just, it's chaotic. It's all over the place, man. But anyway, so I'm going to be playing Blin. So the storyline is really good. So I was thinking about watching the anime because this game is actually um, an anime. So yeah, I might actually watch the anime. I don't know if you guys have watched it, but yeah, um, don't spoil it for me, okay? <laughs> Because I'm gonna watch it, alright? I'm gonna watch the anime for from this game. Because it looks pretty good. I really like the storyline, you know, with Jin So Young, you know, uh, Master Hong, all that shit, Mushin. You know, it's, it's very enjoyable. I really like it. You know, when I'm playing the game, just going through the, the story quests, you know, I see all the cutscenes and stuff. It looks really good. But um, another thing I've noticed is that in the storyline, people call me Giance. Now, that, that was one thing I found a bit weird, like, who, who's Giance? But, my guess was, it was actually the guy from the anime, the main character. I think our character in this game plays Giance from the anime, which is the main character. But, you know, I, I'm not really sure. And I think Giance is like the chosen one. He's like the, the guy everyone is looking up to, you know, the guy, the hero basically you know but yeah so that's um, pretty much it um, so yeah um, tell me what you think about the new content in the comments below and yeah tell me what you think about the game in general you know or whatever so this has been your boy Massblade here and yeah I will catch you guys later peace